My name is Mikhail Sharma with ADP. Hi, nice to meet you. Is it okay you. if I grab a seat? Yes, absolutely. Awesome. How are you doing today? Doing good. How are you doing? Pretty well. Uh, is it okay if I take some notes? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. And here's my business card in case you have any questions after this meeting. Okay. Feel free to contact me. Perfect. Will do. Let me just get myself set up here. So are we still set for the 20 minutes we have for this meeting today? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Great. And thank you again for sitting out with me to discuss ADP. And congratulations on adding another location. I guess that means business is going pretty well. Yep, it's going very well. Good, good. And I'm glad you guys are thinking ahead and reached out to me and you're wanting to become more efficient with potentially opening up a third location, if I heard correctly. Yeah, so that is uh, possibly in the records right now. There are a lot of different parts that are moving with their company. so. It just depends on where things are projected to go. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, that is still a consideration for us. Well, hopefully after today I can help improve those projections and get that third location open for you. So just to give you some background, I've been with ADP since I graduated uh, UCF back in 2006. Uh, it's an amazing company. We're the leading provider for payroll services. And I love the job because we get to help local businesses like yours get to that next level that you're looking for. So just to go over real quick is there anyone else that should be a part of this meeting right so my husband um you know we do do everything together in terms mm -hmm. of the business but unfortunately he wasn't able to make this meeting today. okay that's fine yeah. and i'd just like to have a conversation to get a better understanding of your company mm -hmm. and how you process your payroll answer any questions you may have and ultimately decide if adp is right for you how does that sound okay sure great so can you tell me about your current payroll process yeah, so um, we like what we have right now. Um, we're using sort of an off-the-shelf type of uh, payroll. It's called Microsoft Dynamics GP. Okay. Um, and, and we like the job. Um, you know, it, we use it for bi-weekly payroll, and it does what we need it to do. Bi-weekly. Mm -hmm. And how much do you pay for the service currently? So we pay about um, $1,500 a year okay. um, to upgrade the software. Yeah. Okay. And how much time would you say you spend processing payroll? So that varies. Um, for about processing, it takes about six to seven hours weekly. Six to seven hours mm -hmm. weekly. Oh, that does add up after. So that's 14 hours in about two weeks. Mm -hmm. It's almost a part-time job for you. <laughs> right. And um, my husband is usually the one that takes care of all the admin. Okay. Okay. And how is he handling all those? Is he staying on top of it? Is he starting to fall behind? Or yeah. So he's doing a really great job for what we have. Mm -hmm. um, I have three children, so yeah. So he actually stays and takes care of them. Yeah, that's um, the real full time job. Right? Yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So, so that's sort of um, what he's doing most of the time, taking care of our children, mm -hmm. and also trying to do all the administrative work behind that. Got it. It's a lot to handle. So. I understand that you guys might slightly be getting overwhelmed because you do want to look into that third location as well as you um, want to potentially add five employees to the Peachtree City location uh, and you might hire a full-time accountant. Uh, what, how far in process are you guys uh, when it comes to that? For the accountant? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we're pretty far um, ahead with the accountant. Uh, we really like them, um, you know, just because I think that they can do everything that mm -hmm. we need them to do mm -hmm. and it's going to be really nice because they can actually be in-house um, so we can work with them one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, great. Uh, and I understand that will also cut into your budget for next year when you're trying to open a new location because if you're hiring an accountant to take over payroll services, there goes a good you know, salary for an accountant, for example, is like $55,000. Mm -hmm. um, have you factored that in yet or you just haven't gotten that far down the road? Yeah, we've been talking about that. Um, you know, obviously budgets are tight, yeah. and we want to uh, make sure that we're spending our money wisely. Mm -hmm. um, the thing is, is that I'm just so busy that I don't really have time to, um, you know, talk about all these other opportunities of to course. take care of all this admin work. So for us, it's more of a bandwidth issue, and we would just like to have an accountant there presently, or we can say, hey, we, you know, we need you to do this. Please get this done at a certain time. Of course. So let's let's put things into perspective here. Your husband, who handles all the payroll, mm -hmm. uh, how much would you say he makes an hour? 
hourly? Yeah, just um, just throw a number in the air. Okay. Just so you can get an idea. Yeah, I would probably say maybe 50 an hour. 50 an hour? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we spoke a couple weeks back and you gave me some numbers on how much time he spends doing those things. I know it was, uh, you have 35 employees, mm -hmm. 3 minutes each time card, uh, so that's 105 minutes. Uh, you spend 60 minutes to, each, to key in each payroll for 35 mm -hmm. employees, so that's 165 minutes. Basically add it all up and I found that he spends 4 hours and 45 minutes for payroll, and that's per week. Mm -hmm. So at fifty bucks an hour, we talk about two hundred, two hundred fifty dollars that you know could be spent doing elsewhere, spending time with the kids, for example. But that's just payroll when it comes to taxes, because he has to handle the other side. Mm -hmm. IRS, you don't want to come knocking on your door. He spends twenty minutes on filings, fifty minutes on tax deposits, another fifty minutes on W twos. Mm -hmm. That's another fifty minutes for tax administration total, and not to mention going to the bank. Right. So he has a lot on his plate, mm -hmm. and then HR. Mm -hmm. How do you guys handle HR? Right, so, you know, we sort of handle it as well, um, you know, David sort of uh, goes ahead and, and does all of it himself. Mm -hmm. um, you he know, wears a lot of hats. He does. Um, mm -hmm. The problem is that we're hiring a couple new people and we just frankly don't have the time to do all of the background checks, so mm -hmm. I do want to back up a little bit and understand a little bit more um, of each product that's offered and mm -hmm. sort of the ROI that we can get. Um, I know we've been talking about numbers quite a bit just now, so I am interested in that. Yeah, so let's start off with basic numbers. You guys are currently spending $1,500 a year in software mm -hmm. and 3000 a year in banking fees because it's 250 a month that you're currently using with your Capital One bank. Mm -hmm. And so let's, to simplify things, I divide into a period, a uh, pay per period. Mm -hmm. So it's 187.5 or $187.50 is how much you're spending per period period. Mm -hmm. That's just process payroll between banks, and you guys don't have any costs for HR because he's wearing many hats, he's handling that as well. Yeah. However, you're spending 36 hours and 5 minutes per period period handling those tasks, and at $50 an hour, that's a substantial amount of money that could be dedicated to other resources. So, with ADP, you guys have 11 to 20 employees in your first location, and then you have 15 or 20 employees in your first location and 15 in your second, is that correct? Yeah. At fifty-eight ninety-five per location times two locations, it would be one seventeen uh, a month, as opposed to one eighty-seven or one eighty one seventeen per pay period, as opposed to one eighty-seven per pay period is what you're currently doing. Okay. So it's a cost savings of sixty bucks right off the bat. Not to mention the time that we'll be saving you guys. Mm -hmm. All that stuff becomes automated. All those new employees that you're getting, they go into the system. There's onboarding documents that will be readily available for you to print out. And I know you're trying to increase the second location from 15 to 20 uh, employees. The great thing about that is that you will still remain in the same tier. You will still pay 58 95 because it covers up to 20 employees. Okay. So there's no increased cost to you. And as far as HR goes, all of those will be uh, covered as well. So we do, uh, like you said earlier in our conversation, um, you are aware that we are thinking about opening a third location. So what Correct. would that look like? It would be another, however many employees you have, mm -hmm. there are different brackets that you can have. So let's say you start off pretty slowly in the other location. We have brackets that go from zero to five employees. So let's say you only have five, you would be paying forty one ninety five per pay period. Okay. And you jump to six to ten, eleven to twenty, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. And all of these have costs of uh, one fifty per each installation, mm -hmm. but that's a one time fee. Unlike the fifteen hundred dollars, which you have to pay every year for the current software that you use. How's that sound? I mean, that definitely sounds um, interesting, and uh, you know, something that we could possibly consider. Okay. It's just a little challenging since my husband isn't here, so. Of course. Yeah. Well, I understand that he's the main person handling all of this. So, mm -hmm. is it possible for us to set up a meeting in which he can discuss and have a sit down with both of us? I'd like to learn a little bit uh, more. Um, okay. But I think that that is a possibility. Great. Well, what else? Uh, what uh, uh, What other questions can I answer for you? So I don't really like contracts or um, long term commitments. Mm -hmm. and that's sort of the reason why we've never really done anything like this before. Mm -hmm. That's a, understandable. A lot of people don't like two year contracts when they sign cell phone bills, for example. Good thing about ADP, it's payroll to payroll. Mm -hmm. So you can be with us these two weeks. Next week, if you're not satisfied with our services, you can go back to however you're using your previous uh, payroll services, mm -hmm. or you can continue with running with us. There's no contracts to be signed. So there's no commitment whatsoever. If you like us, then we keep running with you.
Okay, so it's week by week? It's it's bi weekly, yeah. Okay. It's whatever bi-weekly. your pay period is, yeah. Okay. So let's say if you had a monthly pay period, it'd be month to month, but you guys have bi weekly, so okay. that's how it would run. Okay, and what does the onboarding process look like for that? Is there somebody that comes in and you know tells us how to do things and how to run it? What does the training look like? Yeah, so we would. I just, I mean, honestly, I'm so busy. I really don't have time to sit down and, and learn everything new. So that's my main concern. That's why hiring an accountant was so attractive because we didn't really have to deal with that. Of course, and that's a great thing about ADP is that we can replace that accountant, save you that forty, fifty thousand dollars a year. As for our onboarding process, because it's so automated, there is going to be a startup uh, period in which we must first process your checks, you must send us the information, uh, send us the hours, send us the bank accounts. But once all that is done, that startup period is over, it's all automated. That's mm-hmm. why we call it ADP automatic debt processing, for mm-hmm. example. Okay. Uh, from there, it becomes a streamlined process, and that 37 hours a week that your husband is spending, it gets dropped down to maybe two or three hours just to send us information on a bi-weekly basis of this guy didn't show up for work this day or these are the adjusted hours for this week, for example. Okay. So that's the main point of this process is that we don't want to add more time, add more money, add more problems to you guys. We want to take that away yeah. and help you make this as streamlined as possible. That way you can get those five extra employees so mm-hmm. that we can open that other location. Yeah. So. Uh, I definitely am hearing everything that you're saying. Good. It sounds great. Great. Um, you know, the, the issue that I do have is mm-hmm. that um, I actually have a golf buddy mm-hmm. uh, who works at Paychex, mm-hmm. and I'm sort of interested in calling them as well. I don't mm-hmm. know if you're familiar with Paychex, but it's, you know, it's hard because I don't know you, but you seem like a great person. Um, I really do know this person and, and trust this person, so I just sort of want to... Of course. It's mm-hmm. funny because my... Senior year of college, I did an internship at Paychex, um, and it was a pretty cool internship. I learned a lot of, of the similarities and differences between ADP and Paychex. I can tell you the main difference that will separate us from them is that we're a much bigger company. Mm-hmm. We have an understanding of people who run a one-person company. All the way, we provide payroll services for Amazon, Google, Apple, so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. So if you have any issues, you're not the first one to have it. Paychex handles smaller businesses, for example and they don't have the capacity to go higher. This is your third location that you could potentially be opening. Once you start opening more locations, they may not have the resources that you need to further increase your payroll processing. Mm -hmm. And with ADP, we can do 51 plus, 100 plus employees. And we'll be with you every step of the way. When it comes to HR, we have a much bigger HR program than they do, for example. Uh, we have things such as an employee. I know you said you had issues with employees not requesting time off correctly. Yeah. We have documents that can correctly process that, and it's in the system. Have it documented in case you have any further issues, mm-hmm. no matter how many employees you have. How would they help us with that? What do you mean? So they, they do the tracking for... Correct. So okay. we, would give you, we would provide the documentation for it. Understand, mm-hmm. like, right now you have an impromptu process where you try and keep track of an Excel, and sometimes it's not properly taken care of. Mm-hmm. With ADP, we give you official documents that you can actually hold them liable for it. Uh, and that's a huge difference when it comes, you know, some of these cases go to court. You know, at ADP, we've seen everything. A lot of these companies go through different roads. But having the documentation saying there as opposed to an Excel sheet where you can just save and modify, mm-hmm allows you to have uh, more leverage when it comes to those situations. Okay, yeah, everything that you're saying makes sense. Um, I definitely want to go back to my husband okay. and talk about uh, this with him a little bit. Great, is there anything else I could answer today to uh, further help the process? I think you did a great job answering all my questions. Good. So everything that you're saying definitely makes sense. Good. Um, like I said, I'll just go back to my husband. Of course, he's uh, going to be the one using it. Yes, So we exactly. want to get him on there. Yeah. Well, let's schedule a meeting. Is he available next week for you on Tuesday or Thursday, for example? Uh, next Monday would work for us. Next Monday, that's actually Perfect. So Monday and say around the same time, 6 p.m.? Sure. Great. I'll go ahead and send you an email after this, and that way we can have a conversation then. All right. Perfect. Great. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thanks. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> Do you want any feedback? Do you need to simmer down? <laughs> you did well. Thank you. I was a little all over the place. But yeah, it was really good. Um, a couple of key takeaways that I would say is, first of all, you did a great job with being really prepared. Mm-hmm. So regurgitating all the information was really great. And it's going to I felt like it's so much, though. There's just, <coughs> with ADP, there's just so many things between, like, I wanted I to jump. do a cardio role play. Like, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are we all done? Yeah. Yes. All right, perfect. Here. Just feedback perfect. time.
Feedback. Okay, well. Feedback is it a I'm actually going to be buying ADP too. Premium. <laughs>